So in the evaluation of Eroda, in the <coughs> evaluation of Eroda, <coughs> form stability, form, form Eroda is also there. Form nothing but entropment of gas within the liquid. Means entropment of gas within the liquid. This is <coughs> gas is surrounded by the liquid. Gas is surrounded by the liquid. If it is less viscous, if the liquid, whatever the liquid is surrounded by the gas is less viscous, means thickness, the layer thickness is small, the layer thickness is small. See, this is this much layer thickness is there. Yeah. Less thickness, so less viscous. So the foam is thickly broken. The foam is easily broken. The foam is easily broken. Next, more thick, more the thickness means, see, for example, <coughs> for example, we can consider this is too two layered thickness here, two layered thickness. More the thickness, more the viscous. More the thickness, more the viscous, viscous viscosity of this uh, foam liquid. More the viscosity of this liquid. Foam is more stable. Foam is more stable. How can we determine the stability of foam? By using, by measuring the viscosity. We need to measure the viscosity of the liquid, viscosity of the liquid. How can we determine the viscosity of the liquid? By rotational viscometer, by using rotational viscometers. Okay, rotational viscometers we can use for both Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids. Both Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids. Cup and bob, cone and plate. Cup and bob, cup and bob, cone and plate. In the cup, rotating cup, in the rotating cup we can call as a Mac Michael viscometer. Mac Michael viscometer, rotating cup, see, rotating cup. If rotating ball is there, we can call it Stromer viscometer or Brookfield viscometer. Stromer viscometer or Brookfield viscometer. This is about the viscosity measurement of liquid. <coughs> viscosity of liquid is responsible for the stability of foam. 